What's going on, guys? Morning. It's a beautiful day in Barbados. Um, just got back from the gym. The original video I wanted to do, I uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's not turning out the way I wanted it to be. And the topic is gonna be um, rejection is not a big deal. Um, yeah, that video didn't really plan out. So what I'm just gonna do is just talk about it here on this vlog. Um, you guys are gonna get to see, um, I'm gonna do a couple things while I'm doing this vlog and talk about what I was gonna talk about. If you guys like this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I post. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support recently. Like, you guys have been supporting me crazily a lot the last couple of days and i'll let you know i really really do appreciate that and that really helps out a lot so thank you guys for everything but let's get on into this topic so what kind of sparked this topic was that i was recently rejected by a girl that i i was interested in um saw this girl beautiful young lady and i was like yeah the first thing that i did that kind of like made rejection not a big deal for me is the fact that i didn't, I didn't expect anything from her I didn't go in thinking that she has to give me her number or she has to continue to talk to me. I didn't go into it thinking like that. I went into it with like, okay, let me go and talk to this girl. It is what it is. Let me meet somebody new, whatever. So I went up to her, you know, we got to spit the game. I went up to her, introduced, I didn't, I didn't say my name. I didn't introduce myself at first. Um, what I did was I just went up to her. I was like, hi, what's your name? Got her name, I referred to her by her name. And I was like, um, I think you're attractive. I would like to get your number or whatever and we had a little bit of like banter in between there and i kind of i think she was shit testing me but i think i passed that test and she gave me her number then she asked me her name and that's how i knew that she was interested because she, she asked me about my name so after that we were talking probably like a week or so i realized you know the the effort wasn't coming really from her like that and then i asked her a question and she said well she just got our relationship or whatever so I was like, okay, cool. And that's it for me. From the time somebody says like that, like from the time any girl says like that, that's that's me. That's for me to be like, okay, this is not worth my time, not worth my effort, especially if, you know, she's not showing residual interest. So I stopped talking to her or whatever, or at least, that's weird. So at least I, I then like stopped like messenger her first or whatever. And I just went about my days, you know, did some stuff. I approached a few other girls, talked to a few other girls or whatever. And um, after that, like about 10 days happened, I realized that she wasn't really interested. She didn't message me. She didn't check on me. She didn't say anything. So I was like, okay, well, I, she's clearly not very interested in me. She's clearly not like, you know, and girls are always on their phone. She's the type of girl that's always on her phone. And I realized that she wasn't really interested so i was like okay i'm done so i messaged her was like okay nice to meet you hope everything goes well whatever whatever and then that turned into something else and with what happened here is what i realized is that she wanted me to give her time attention and effort without her having to give me it back and you guys have to be self-respecting young men and ladies to understand that um if somebody isn't putting back in time to you you need to let that shit go, bro. You need to move on to the next. She wasn't giving me that time back or that attention back or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't got no time for this, bro. I'm out. How could you want me to continue to pursue you? But you just said you are, you're in your outer relationship. I made my, my intentions very, very clear. I want to date you. And you decided whatever. And she got mad about the fact that, um, you know, I, I wasn't willing to do that. I'm not willing to do that. I'm only gonna do that with a woman who chooses me, with a girl who chooses me. And just understanding that it is okay to get rejected and rejection is a part of life really helped. And it really put in my mind that rejection is not that big of a deal. It's not it's not that serious, bro. Like there's there's billion oh millions of other women out there, especially in my age. Why would I need to be need to be weighed down by one? Especially one who's not going to give me back that effort. You guys, you guys have to be very, very picky on who you choose nowadays. In 2022, it's wild out here, bro. It's really, really wild out here. But let me get myself. I'm going to grab inside. That's the first part of, you know, kind of what I think about rejection. Rejection ain't that big of a deal. I wanted to do a more in-depth thing, do semantic videos and all that. But I ain't get there, bro. But, yeah, I'm going to go back inside. I got to clean up my room. Um, 
this way you guys get to see my setup and get to see how i'm doing stuff um i'm gonna show you how it is right now because it's very very untidy right now i will admit everything is very 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 untidy right now but i have to i'm gonna be working on it now and improving like how it looks and stuff like that so yeah curtain bro so in here it looks kind of red kind of kind of pink but uh i'm gonna open up my windows now gotta open these bits up boom boom all right so my room is extremely tidy right now which i have to do a lot of cleaning up um last night i just put stuff together and now today i gotta do stuff i gotta wash those mats these are two of my mats i gotta wash those this is a box for my for my ring light and those are my extra stuff. I usually have some stuff in there. Um, here, so I had a mat that was, it had this rubber bottom, but because of how hot outside is in my room, and usually I keep my windows closed when I'm not home, this happened. So yeah, all of the rubber stuck to the tiles and I haven't been able to get it up. But yeah, I had a package come in this box. This is my protein powder. If you guys want to see what protein powder I use, this is what I use. Pretty good. Got me looking kind of ripped. Um, so yesterday, I was working on a graphics card, a new graphics card. Um, some shout out to Anthony. He sent me a graphics card. Hopefully, um, it wasn't really working for him. So he wanted to see if I can get it fixed. Unfortunately, I think it might be dead. This is an RTX 3080 from MSI. I think it might be dead, y'all, because I can't seem to get it to work. I thought it was going to be a driver issue, but it isn't. So I thought it was going to, I was going to be able to get it to work, but it doesn't work. I don't know why. Um, so this is currently my setup. This is currently what I use to do my recording, streaming, etc. Um, in a few days, or if, yeah, in a few weeks, two weeks or so, I'm going to be rebuilding this. I'm going to vlog it. I'm going to, I'm going to rebuild this desk. Um, this desk was made two years ago with some uh, spear like wooden stuff that I just got from somewhere. I don't know where. I got to do a lot of cable management. I didn't do any cable management because I know that the setup is not finished. I still have a lot of time to do before I get my setup done. Um, because this graphics card isn't going to work right now, um, I have to buy one. And graphics cards are still very, very expensive. And I'm probably going to get a 3080, to be honest. Um, I was going to go at 3090, but I don't really see much benefit for me to get a 3090 right now. So a 3080 or a 3080 Ti would, would be perfect for me right now. Um, I'm not waiting on 40 series. That's already been been probably like down. I don't know. So I got to clean this up. I'm going to just set the camera down so you guys can kind of do a time lapse of me cleaning up my setup. Um, I'm gonna just, once I clean up, I'm gonna just show you guys um, everything that I have and i um, gonna just have you guys like, might put some graphics on the screen, just saying what exactly my parts are. If you can, whenever, and I'll put some links in the description for you guys so, so you guys can buy them from Amazon if you want. Um, but this is currently what I'm working with right now. Um, I have another video made a year ago of currently my setup. As you can see, there's some dust on here. So I'm gonna be using my little rag here to clean it off. And yeah, so I'll set the camera down. I'll let you guys see everything and clean it up now and then, yeah. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this shit Tell me that I can and I won't That's what guides me the most You lies, I'll do what I want The gas in the bed Put the sad to the mess She's so bad Get the chair, made the bread Off the gas in the gas in the bed Put the sad to the mess She's so bad Get the chair, made the bread Off the gas in the gas in the bed Put the 
inspired by thirst I'm inspired by worth I desire your worst So you can just hide while I work I ain't tired, you first I'll write a second, third verse About the lies you go disperse You never did sh- I know it hurts But something deep inside won't let me quit I swear that I'm inspired by all this sh- Tell me that I can't and I won't That's what guides me the most Your lies, I'll do what I want So we cleaned up a bit. Um, I've done a little bit of cable management. As you guys can see, this mat is dirty, but I'm also changing this soon. So I'm not really worried about cleaning it right now. Um, this has to be cleaned, which I'm gonna do once I do over my entire setup, which will be in about a month or so. As I told you guys, I have to buy a graphics card. Um, I would have figured out most of my expenses and the VRP expenses by the month is in and then that's going to be time for me to upgrade my setup and do stuff for me my personal stuff so once um those stuff for dvrp are finished my car payments are finished all that is done which i shall have done by the end of this month i will start working on myself and my setup the first thing is i'm gonna build my own desk i could have bought one but i prefer to build because it's probably like a thousand dollars cheaper so I'm gonna just build myself a desk instead. This desk has lasted me six years, but if you guys can see, it wobbles. So, not six years. It's last me two, maybe three years. So, yeah. Once this is, I'm gonna build a new desk. I got my friends, they're gonna help me with it. Um, I wanna get another monitor to replace this because this is an old TV and I barely use it. Obviously, I'm gonna get a graphics card. I mean, the other 3080. I think my mind's pretty set on the 3080. Um, and I think that should be able to do most games well. Um, I don't need to go up to 3090 or 3090 Ti, maybe 3080 Ti, I'm not sure yet, but it depends on what the prices are at the end of the month. Um, so I'm just gonna run through a couple of stuff. This is some sort of R RCA TV. This is gonna be a Logitech. It's a Logitech, no, LG, Jesus, LG GL850. It's a 27 inch. Uh, 1440p, 1440 hertz monitor. Sorry, 144 hertz monitor. Um, yeah, that's another thing I want to get. I want to get a boom arm for both of my monitors. This is a BenQ Zowie 27, 2411 something, 24 inch 1080p monitor. Obviously, I want to get a boom arm or, or monitor arms for both of these. My camera is gonna be a Logitech Brio. It can go up to 4K. Once I get the 3080, I can start doing my webcam in 4K. Um, as you guys know, I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Uh, this is what I'm vlogging on right now. This is my old controller, my old PS4 controller. It was white and I just put a skin on it. That doesn't work properly anymore, so yeah. Um, this is a power bank for my phone. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. If you're a streamer, 100% must get. Um, I have a Focusrite Scarlett 212. This is my audio interface for my, my mic. And I have an XLR mic. This is the Audio Technica AT2035, I think it is. Um, I have some cheap boom arm. I might replace it, but I'm not sure. I have a Razer Black Shark V2. That's my headset for right now. Um, I don't think I need to change anytime soon. You don't use the mic on this. I don't think I need to change anytime soon or anything. Um, controller, I currently use an Xbox controller for my game, GTA, etc. Um, there's a lot of wires. I have a long cable because I don't like it wireless. I get a lot of input lag. So I plug it straight in from there. This is a Sabrent uh, USB hub. And then this is a transcend uh, hub for my micro SS, whatever this 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 thing is that 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 thing up there up there somewhere, whatever that is. Um, SD card, right, right. Um, now main to the. I did a little bit of cable management. It's not as 
it's not create i use zip tie not zip ties but wire things right there i don't know what you call it but this is to keep my cables done once i get all of the other stuff i'm going to get cable sleeves and all sorts of stuff for my cables just to keep them all organized and everything um my desk is going to be i'm going to change it to an l-shaped desk um and i obviously have to clean the wall because um sometimes when you're gaming you put up your foot your foot goes on the wall and that kind of makes everything look bad so yeah um and then i have currently two ring lights so i have one and the other one is there that other that one is disgusting and not not disgusting it's broken up here is broken i have it this is my this is my my budget stuff here i have it currently being held on by scotch tape so um yeah so this is my little humble setup and now to the main portion where you guys can see my pc gonna turn it on here for you guys turn my pc on so in this machine i have a ryzen ryzen 7 5800x 8 core 12 thread processor um on a b550 f gaming from asus motherboard i have a gigabyte rts 2070 super currently and uh, i'm gonna be changing that soon um in about a couple of weeks i'm gonna be changing it up um and then my cpu is being cooled cooled by a be quiet pure loop um aio cooler 240 aio cooler I have about four fans in here. So I have the NZXT one at the back. I have some cheap one at the top. And um, I have one, uh, those two that come, the pure loop wing things, whatever you call them. Then my my uh, power supply is a thermal th take something. Um, it's an 850 watt power supply though. It's plenty of room or plenty of wattage for whatever I'm doing soon. Um, then my storage i have a m.2 ssd from western digital one terabyte and i have two mechanical spinning hard drives in uh somewhere around here somewhere in there um so yeah that is my humble pc setup um i'm gonna be working on it a lot now that i am actually monetizing my youtube really well you guys can see i've been getting donations and stuff once everything for DVRP is completely done, I'm gonna focus on myself and get my setup looking good so you guys can have better quality videos. Oh, I forgot the RAM. The RAM, I have 32 gigabytes of uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. Links to all of my stuff are gonna be in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and look at that. And if you wanna get anything yourself, you can get your stuff. Um, this is what I currently use. Um, I still have a lot of uh, grid paths I wanna, wanna work on, but as I told you guys, once the VRP is done and my um, my transportation is done, my, my car payment, at least my car payment for my insurance is the one that, that's what's outstanding right now. Um, my car payment every month is covered. I have that covered already. I've been able to really focus on my finances. I've been really able to get my finances in order properly, you know? Like, guys, like, Understanding your finances is very, very important and covering your bills and everything is really important. Don't do anything or that's why I've been waiting so long to upgrade my PC because I want to get my sources of income done first. So the VRP is a huge source of my income. That's where that's what majority of my channel is on. That's why I'm investing in the DVRP first before I do anything. I pay for majority of the VRP myself out of my pocket and out of my YouTube money. So um, yeah, I pay most, I would say I pay majority of it. Um, it's only like certain assets some of the department head might purchase themselves. But for now, I keep the server up, I keep the website up, I keep the team speak up. Um, and any of the bills, the gabs, um, interiors, all that, I keep all of those up. So the radio, all that stuff, I keep up, I pay for all those things. And that's why it's really touching that you guys have been donating, you guys have been supporting, you guys have been watching the videos because that helps me so much. You guys have no idea how much money I was putting into this community um, when we first started. Luckily, I had Cameron to help me throughout that time, but because of you know stuff that happened, he had to go, he had to handle his business. So then a lot more money went on to me. And now um, I do have help from Jim and Bradley from time to time, but me and my pride, my Beijing pride, 
I don't really like asking for help like that. You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure it out myself. And obviously development wise, I haven't been able to figure stuff out myself, but it helps, you know, it really, really helps. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support, everything you guys have been giving me. It really, 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 really helps. Like you have no idea how much it helps. And now I've been able to transform my life and been able to do stuff. And then it's a constant grind. It's a constant, constantly going, constantly going. Because I can see where the VRP is going. I can see where everything is going. And I really, really appreciate it. So now we almost done with the PC. We almost done with that. As I told you guys again, once the VRP is good, it should, it should be good by the 16th. Once the VRP is good. I do want to change up the framework a little bit but i need to find a developer and they want it to be perfect i want it to be like Mwah! get one thing i want it to be perfect when when that happens so um once the core stuff that i have to do for dvrp is finished i'm gonna focus on myself and my setup when i say myself i don't mean going out there and buying clothes and stuff i'm gonna upgrade my pc so i can get you guys some better videos better quality better everything i'm also gonna work on merch for you guys because um, I think that if you guys have such, you guys like the content so much, I, f I feel like there's a way for you guys to show that. And that is by wearing your merch or whatever. I want to get a nice design. I know I've talked about this for the last two months or so, but now I'm going to get very, very serious about it. And I'm going to put it into plan. I'm going to put it a plan into place and get a design out for you guys. So look out for the end of this month. I'm going to be starting to get the merch done. I'm going to get myself my setup um worked on the vrp should be changing soon if you guys look out for steve's videos or steve's streams in the next couple of weeks next couple of days you guys are gonna see a big improvement at the vrp and yeah so thank you guys for all the love and all the support thank you guys for everything i'm gonna be going out here i got some work to do i gotta get a dvrp promotional video coming up soon i gotta get that worked on and then um, I got to edit this vlog. I got to edit another DVRP video for tonight. And uh, yeah. So thank you guys for all the love and all the support. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Have a great week. Remember to go after all you guys' goals and your dreams. Rejection is not that big of a deal. And uh, work on this stuff. Yeah. Peace out.